what's going on everybody got another video here for you uh this is one i ran across a sat question that uh, looks pretty interesting so i figured we'd give it a go so it says the equation this equation here is true for all values of x not equal to 2 over a where a is a constant what is the value of a so what does a need to be all right so th th there's a couple of ways that you could go about doing this uh, one thing you could do is i guess you could you could plug in all the answers and determine what it needs to be but that could take a while so let's do the other way uh, i think it's a little it's faster a little easier so let's just go ahead first and let's write the equation down. Yeah. All right, so we've got 24x squared plus 25x minus 47 over ax minus 2 equals negative 8x minus 3 minus 53 over ax minus 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just multiply everything by ax minus 2. And you can see when I multiply it to this side over here, it's just going to cancel it out. So we get 24x squared plus 25x minus 47 equals. And then I'm going to multiply this times each one of these terms. Or you could just look at it as negative 8x minus 3 times ax minus 2. You could fold the 2. And then when I multiply it to this one, they're going to cancel out, and we're left with just minus 53. And so now I'm going to have 24x squared plus 25x minus 47 equals. Now if I fold this, I get negative 8ax squared. So the first outside minus, let's see, what is that? Minus, uh, no, not minus, plus 16x minus 3ax plus 6 minus 53. All right, so that's going to give us 24x squared plus 25x minus 47 equals negative 8ax squared. Uh, so let's see here. We've got... Uh, we've got the x's here, so we could do... Uh, plus 16 minus 3a times x minus 47. Okay. All right. So if you look at this, notice, notice here how we have an x squared term. We have an x squared term. So what we can do is we can take the coefficient of this x squared and the coefficient of this x squared, well, they have to be equal, don't they? So we can just take 24, set it equal to negative 8a, nah, just negative 8a, because those have to be equal in, in order for these two sides to be equal. And then if we divide both sides by negative 8, we get a is equal to negative 3. And so our answer here would be B, which is negative 3. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what if I decided to, instead of setting the coefficients of the x squared terms equal to each other, what if I set the coefficients of x equal to each other? Well, let's try that. So 25 equals 16 minus 3a. So if I subtract 16 to both sides, I get 9 equals negative 3a. Divide both sides by negative 3. And once again, we get a is equal to negative 3. And so there's your answer. So, you know, it kind of looks like a complicated problem at first. You know, with the equation they give you here, that looks kind of nasty. But really, it's not that bad. All right, so I hope you in... Whoop. Well, that closed down. 
oh it's going to reopen so i hope i hope you enjoyed that i hope it helped out uh check out my other videos give me a like share subscribe comment and i will see y'all in the next one later